Анимация — это магия. Animation is magic. Every frame is uh, painted manually by painters and artists, but there are uh, a lot of routine tasks, hours of it, and many people are engaged in that. What if uh, AI can do that? What if it can unlock the time for the real creativity? The question is whether the magic will remain if we have algorithm doing the work. Anna Marikova, the producer of uh, Soyuz Multfilm, uh, the uh, cinema studio that produced many of the classical Soviet cartoons, and uh, Anna Moryakova will say how AI can help create a perfect cartoon. Всем привет! Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about AI in animation production. The uh, current animation production is a very complicated and multi-stage process, and uh, using AI can be regarded, uh, can be discussed in every stage of this uh, element. You can now see um, all stages of the processes. If you go through it quickly, we're talking about the scenarios, uh, animation, and I'm talking about uh, people thinking up the characters, then it is all given some life. There is a 3D model, the animation, and the final picture, the final cartoon. Now we're going to go through all of these stages and uh, to s talk about uh, AI applications that are available today. The first thing I wanted to talk about are about the trends that we see right now. And obviously, the major question, maybe the major answer is to the question what AI does, is the automation of processes. So there are some stages uh, that can be accelerated with AI, and obviously we're talking about simplification and uh, the speed. Uh, you know, there was a meme, uh, I remember, uh, like uh, we thought that robots or AI will clean the snow we will remove the snow from the from the uh, from the roads and we will do creative things and now we have it on the contrary we are still clean removing the snow from the roads and uh, the ai is doing creativity but even in creative field without the humans no neural network can give a high quality result so it will continue uh, the human creativity i mean so nn can be regarded as a tool only as a tool by an artist that will help them to deliver the work quickly and to deliver the high quality um, already today we discussed that and we do this work with GigaChat when we take a series. We train NNs based on that and it generates conflicts. It's a multi-stage uh, process, so the conflicts are generated. I mean, we're talking about what is going to be done in the series, then it is uh, moved to, to uh, a, uh, a plot. And then the evolution. We're now on the first stage, but you know, appreciating the fact that it evolves really quickly, we understand that it will give us the opportunities to create great plots and dialogues. Uh, our internal uh, proprietary development that is open source, by the way, uh, it helps to simplify the work of the teams. When we talk about a uh, full fledged movie, it's uh, like 8520 page long book uh, uh, when we talk about the plot and uh, when we talk about the uh, the characters and the objects there what do they do all of that can be de should be described by the people uh, but it can be done by ai everything can be uploaded to ai and you will have as an output an excel with the number of characters the number of objects and the interiors and exteriors uh, where these characters actually act and the um, the lightning uh, the lighting and other things all of this is discussed and it really helps uh, the best is generation. Obviously, we work with generated images and videos, and first of all, we do that on the development stage because it makes uh, the work of the uh, artist much simpler. 
Uh, to put it in perspective, uh, before an artist gave some references when there was a uh, scope of task formed, but the references were not really, uh, did, did not really sometimes reflect everything that was in his head and his creative uh, mind. And now he can create the references that are fully in line with the tasks that they want to achieve. And this means that the um, output, uh, the, uh, meaning the images, are much more, um, are created in a much more productive fashion. Some NNs can uh, color some of the pictures. It can be done by, by humans, and you would think it's simple and quick. But actually, no, NN can do it much quicker, and uh, it's a much simpler way. Moreover, the neural networks uh, can now um, be trained uh, in style and understand the style of your project. That's very important in animation and cartoons because the style of every project is individual and when you need to develop some additional objects for uh, the series, the cartoon series, you can train AI and it will give you some results uh, like this car for example that is in line with the style of uh, the series of the cartoon we use ai to check uh, the, uh, how the characters interact with the uh, things around them we had a 3d model and we put a scarf on this cat and we put it in the real environment uh, to understand whether the scarf fits. This hypothesis checking helps to drastically reduce the time for production because if we uh, were doing it manually uh, with Enrique Maya and all of our other technical tools, it would take much longer. Uh, checking whether the character and the style fits the environment and testing the anatomy of a non-standard character is something that is uh, is optimized by AI. All of these animations that you see on the screen is uh, generated by AI. It's of, of very high quality. And our animation experts, uh, very high quality professionals, say that this uh, is uh, animation of great quality. Animating but it's a very complicated process, and the fact that the neural network can do that, they understand uh, how uh, wings and uh, um, claws are moved by the bird is a great leap forward for the technology. The animation, uh, this is a uh, wraith, um, wraith um, that's a uh, ghost, uh, that's we wanted to understand how it moves and we wanted to understand how it's how it's move uh, how is it moving before it goes in production lip sync uh, these are the models that we're testing and uh, it's important thing to say that when we talk about the generation of the lip sync uh, from humans uh, AI understands everything because the data set it is trained on uh, is uh, mostly the uh, pictures of real people. When we start to work with st with style, something might break. What do I mean? If a uh, character has, uh, like, instead of a full-fledged mouth, they have, like, a l direct line, the uh, AI might not read it as a mouth, but they're getting better and better. Now, a technical thing, upscale, but for us it's a very important thing. Upscale is, in simple words, improving the quality of the picture. So we have 2.5K as an input, and with upscale we can make it a 4K. So if we were making a 4K, a real 4K, in, in terms of the production costs, it will be much higher uh, than uh, upscaling it from 2.5K. Another important thing is uh, the uh, text-to-speech based on reference. I would be honest in saying that some actors uh, are concerned about this tool because they feel that they might be replaced by AI. Uh, we are using it for tests. It's not ideal uh, in terms of intonation. And for now, actors are much better. However, this is uh, the development that can work. Here we have a 10-second reference. Yes. 
I cannot do that anymore, says the character, and then we get the text. You remember the times when I was running barefoot and was fighting for bananas with the monkeys. And now the generation of sounds, generated sound. The materials in Russian should be translated into other languages, should be localized and adapted to other languages. And so this year, we started to use AI for that. And we would like to share you what we had, how we were able to use AI to fully uh, change the Russian teaser in English language. Charovodia, the world of ancient magic. Seven stones, seven powers, seven roads. Create, manage, destroy, or heal. What power do you have? What is substantial? And another video that we did in the same fashion, and it's the dialogue. Disaster! It's gone! This is no fun! Hello, Baby Fluffs! Sweetie, the Baby Fluffs lost something! Found it! Oh, it's stuck! Oopsie daisy! A whole pot of honey! The pot was tucked away where no one could see. What? Substantially, we won't see. I mean, we're not going to watch the entire cartoon, but it's fully translated, localized, and it's very useful. I'm wrapping up, and I try to talk about AI applications in our industry. In the end, I would like to highlight the problems that are still unresolved and that can be resolved with AI, and we're talking about the uh, consistent still styliz stylization. In terms of consistency, the progress is uh, tremendous, and the dynamics is very positive. In terms of the styling, I've said before that the data sets are made on humans, and stylization might not always be recognized by AI. But uh, in the, these three years, we see that the dynamics is positive. It's just a bit slower than in other areas. The second thing is that now AI, not always, but uh, delivers the quality that we need, the quality of for us as an animation industry. If I talk about the generation of the 3D model, there should be some grid uh, that should be followed. If we're talking about the picture, an image, it should have layers and should have a certain quality. These challenges have not been addressed yet, but obviously there are some legal issues that can be uh, um, addressed in different manners. I think that it will be soon resolved uh, by the regulators, but still there are some legal issues that remain. This was everything that I wanted to talk about. And in the end of my presentation, I would like to say that I really like this quote that I want to share with you. We thought that we would be killed by AI, but really the low in, uh, intelligence can kill us. Thank you very much. How many great perspectives and fantastic discoveries uh, delivered by AI in, multiplica in uh, animation helps to create cartoons quicker for the young ones. The uh, uh, secrets of the third planet. Um, Captain Selesnyov is now added by GigaChat assistant. It's a classical cartoon. Uh, where the uh, uh, characters will go through Giga Universe and have a new meetings and other things. It will have it will ensure the inspiration. 
Uh, after that, it will be followed by the big A panel session with eight panelists. Uh, there will be a debate and uh, the people, the panelists, will ch exchange their experience. Gabriel Gardeev, the general producer of OCO, will uh, be the moderator. Now let's go to the Giga Universe. Selesnyov, Alisa and Zeloni. How many light years pass, mm, went by? What are you doing? We're upgrading, we're installing AI assistant. What are you doing when all these things are happening in the universe? Well, we have challenges again. What are the problems again we face? There are things that happen on various planets. Oh, we have to save him. Update has been installed. Uh, let's uh, talk about the parking rules on this planet. That can I be the captain for this time? Okay, but just make sure you follow GigaChat's commands. That's weird. Where is this guy? What is happening? Okay, we landed somewhere. We don't know even where. We have an alternative universe. Everything looks like anime. What? I don't want to be an anime. Guys, I'm here. Some evil guy is opening the whole chain of portals. We have to catch him. Look, there's another portal. Someone entered it. Let's go there as well. Yeah, this is the bad guy. This is the villain. Let's catch him. Yeah, that's that's the guy. Let's catch him. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do anything. I am a cosmic mole. I was making tunnels to understand the universe, but I got lost myself. GigaChat, can you analyze all that? Yes, I structure the data and I make the analysis. Wow, GigaChat. Now you know everything about the universe. The access to the uh, universe data has been gathered. Data synced and collected. We're going back. Wow, that was something. GigaChat. Where can we have some rest after such a journey? And let's have no adventures for today. Well, the planet of Visa Free Sands is something that we need to visit. Starting off.